Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here to the start of a new campaign in a mod that I've not yet featured on the channel at the time of this recording called The Failed Revolution, which basically asks, what, ha what would happen if the American Revolution failed in 1776? So we do have the Dominion of North America under some dude named Alvin Barkley, but we are playing as Russia just because it's kind of safe to play as Russia sometimes. Not really, but sometimes. But we have the Pan-Slavic Entente. We have the British Commonwealth, of course, the Alliance Francaise, which I assume will be the French Alliance. And as you see, we have the North German Confederation. Germany is not united, and neither is Italy. We do have Bulgaria as well as Serbia together with us for right now. And Austria is one gigantic little boy under Daddy Karl. So, and Prussia's by Otto Weiss or Vels. And yeah, this is the world. Prussia's over here, just never united, which sucks. And Italy is really not united, so. We'll see what happens. We are on historical. I want to see what happens with this this mod. I chose Russia just because it should be safe to play, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the railways of Siberia help keep our state well connected and held together. Their expansion will help better connect in many unique parts of the country. So now we can either choose a five-year plan versus embrace foreign investments. So mm, we can get the British to help us out. And I don't know if that's historical, to be honest. So we do have to make a choice eventually with the end of his reign. The Tsar is old and dying, a man hated by his subjects and not cared about even by his closest allies. It's only time until he passes, which I we could go Red Russia. Ooh, ooh get Trotsky. Uh, but we could go the Free Republic. We could go the British model and versus following Nicholas's footsteps. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Inauguration of Kerensky. So it seems like if we go the British model, we get more democracy. But at the same time, if we go the British, we should go with them. So for now... What we're going to do is probably the five-year plan. The industry of the city is underdeveloped, and that is an issue that needs to be solved. By implementing a plan for industrialization over five years, we can bring Russian Empire into the 20th century. And this mod, so far, seems like it moves relatively quickly, which is very nice. Anything else here? We have prospect for resources, of course. We work at conditions eventually. Um, I haven't tried a lot of this out yet, but we do have a union policy. Ban unions, which do stuff. Uh, no union policy seems pretty good. You get some pretty good buffs. You know, we always like buffs in this mod. We like buffs in general. Oh, what else do we have here? What is minor unions? We get more political power. Jack... Ooh, Jacobinist unions. Ooh, no, 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 no. Socialist unions. All unions allow gives more political power, but less uh, construction speed, so... Oh, uh, we also have the House of Romanov here. Trudovsky... Trudovsky... All Union Socialist Party. Uh, Roski... Jacobinsky Club. Not aligned, of course, so... Um, we're on volunteer. What, what can we choose for a cabinet? Leventry... Leventry... Beria. Well, it's tough, huh? Kalinin. So this mod is still in development, like... You can play it now. And I'll link... I'll have a link... The first link in the description below will be the link to this mod. So, just let you know. Um, anything else here we really care about? Eh. Wow! Jacobins. Dendikin is a Jacobin. Alright, so after this one, we have to wait for that stuff on the right, right side, so... Uh, bonus for industry, let's do uh, military investments. Yeah, let's do this one first. The armed forces is the lifeblood of the Russian state and what keeps us afloat. They need more equipment to defend our people and we will provide that to them. Oh, we should probably also do this one. So we have the national spirits here too. Political violence, we love political violence. We have ethnic divides, which sounds like a lot of fun. We have outdated armed forces, which is pretty bad, but probably not super necessary yet. Even though I do want to get rid of that as fast as possible. Uh, connecting the nation is not bad, but eh, it's not bad to give this one too. Give more worse part, but we're already 75%, which is pretty good. So I do want to get down to here as fast as possible and get this one too. So probably finance investments in industry. The industry we have is outdated and efficient and needs, oh boy, to be brought into the modern era via our scientists and researchers and learn to survive on their own. They also that Sir Nicholas uh, II was known to have been failing for a few years now. Oh crap. But we had hoped for more time. With the death of the Tsar, we, the political factionalism within the country is sure to take root. The death of the Russian Tsar. A dark day for Russia. Oh boy. Interregnum? Yeah. Well, if that's the case. Let's get some more construction. Um, so we got all that stuff. Get some of that. Let's go with you as well. We're not going to do a land auction just yet. Curbing the radicals. Well, declare a month of mourning. Uh, there's no effect. The Tsar is dead, and this is a great travesty for the people of our nation. We must take some time and remember him and his legacy for our people. Makes sense. Wait. We can't choose anybody here. But we can. Hmm. Because I do want to go all hail Gregory and follow Nicholas's steps. We're going to go... Looks like we're going to go monarchist anyways. I'm not sure if we really need to keep pushing this super hard. I guess for now, let's improve working conditions so we get more political power. Even though we hurt our consumer goods, whatever. 
happens. Um, yeah, we're gonna need a lot more factories. We're gonna need a lot more guns where we're headed. But yeah, our joint builders was up a little bit more. Military investments are very nice. And we've already us, which is not too bad. And we have all our divisions over here, and hopefully they're not starving for supplies. Yeah. Austria is just massive. Bulgaria. And I think they do. They should have a unique focus tree, too. Yeah, they do. So we gotta play them sometime. Oh, can you go red, Austria? Yeah, you can go red, uh, Austrian, Austrian Empire. It doesn't seem like there's very much there, though, but it's an option. 35 to focus is nice. Curbing the Radicals. While we mourn, the radical Russian Jacobin Club sees an opportunity to move against our fragile state. We cannot let them take advantage of our grief, and we must strike before they are ready. Which makes sense. Almost 20 nice. Fighters we need more of. Ah, oh, we're just draining a lot of things. Look at all that naval XP. That is disgusting. The Dutch Republic and... Oh my goodness. Who's leading you guys? Oh, Napoleon! Do they have any focus trees as well? It looks like they do. Celebrating the Bastille. Is all the action Francois? Oh! What? Holding on. The general, a new path, huh? Alright, interesting. Care of the radicals. And crown the Tsar. The time's coming to finally formally coronate the new Tsar, George uh, I of Russia. This is an important occasion for many factions within the nation, and no doubt will decide the future of our people. Which is very good. 49% is not very good, though. We need more. Who's Pope? He does not seem happy. Holy crap. So a lot of the, at the time of this recording, a lot of the nations don't have focus trees yet, just because, like I said, it's still new. So, um, I did want to try this mod out. I'm going to read out here. Also, ooh, I don't know the revolution mod. Because there's a sub mod you need for this one, the revolution radio. We don't have enable just because there's con copyright stuff in there. Like, I literally sometimes won't be able to put videos up. So, my apologies about that, but you need that to run the mod as well. But all hail Tsar Gregory. Well, the coronation complete. Gregory is now the Tsar of all of Russia. It is time to see what place he'll take in the world. Nice. Alright, it's 1936 still. Let's see. Anything else here? Grab some of that because we need that eventually. Ship-wise, we are really behind. Even though we're probably, honestly, not going to be using it very much. Uh, we are using bombers. So let's get that going too. That would be nice. And special advisor. Socialist hero. Yosef Zugashvili. Nobody just say Stalin so much easier. Yeah, that would be nice, but nah. Concealment's not bad. I don't, I don't know why these guys, these things are not highlighted. So, ooh, I like that a lot, but we'll probably go with Milukov. Milukov? Captain of Industry wouldn't be bad either. Mm. Okay, I have a good Vince, why not? And it's not that much faster, 10%, but, you know. We'll take whatever buffs we can get, right? Yeah, I'll do the military, that sucks. Still going down, right? Yeah. Interregnum. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, shippies? Cool. You guys, two, four, eight, boom, boom. There you go. Train until you die. Just because we need an AWOL speed. Cool. Mm, that's not bad. We're just getting this stuff done just, just in case. Just in case. You never know. Boost it up, please. And boost. Nice. Grilling the Tsar. 39% world stability. What's the UK up to? Oh! Austria just broke apart. Well, that sucks. Suddenly Baldwin, ever the eighth. The Royal Coronation. Today's a big day, the coronation of a new Tsar. People from across the Empire and the Pound Slavic on time have arrived at the big from the big ceremony. For the big ceremony. Yeah, there is, however, the looming threat of the radicals, and if they are lurking in the audience plotting against the Tsar. I'll hail the Tsar. Following the closest footsteps, the role of the monarch in the modern Russian state is debated. The previous Tsar thought a strong man policy of absolute control would be worked for the best for the state and prove itself well, keeping out the radicals. The previous way of government shall continue. Because we give it the good old Rambler try when we do do monarchism here. Repress the workers' unions? I like that. Tsar of all Russia, that seems pretty good. Remove political violence too. Ban the RJK. Securing control. Let's do our press to the workers' unions, which there's not they're not big, that big of a threat, but I do want to get rid of political violence. The workers also pose a threat, especially when they are organized. These unions for the basis of the socialist power base, groups who wish to destroy our way of life. They must be stopped before they can pose a larger threat. Makes sense. Oh. Second American Revolution, eight of the American rebels. Revolution has broken down in North America and a new United States of America is attempting to gain its independence from the UK. While the new rebellions are especially friendly towards socialism, it might be pragmatic for us to aid the rebellion to weaken the British. What should we do? Send guns. I just failed to enter the war without any without the will to enter it. Uh, we also have them here too. 
Uh, the plan. I just. I don't know. Uh, actually, did you did not. Okay. Actually, what was that over there? Oh, uh, sort of ish. Choose our future, but not really. Alright, so we have MacArthur here. Continental Army. Which I do need to play as this group sometime, so. Promises of Freedom. And then we have. The, just a good old Dominion. Can we send you volunteers? Oh, we can't send you volunteers. That sucks. The Italian Wars begin. Oh, it is falling apart. And uh, so is Mexico. So how are they supposed to win here then? Why is, why is Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, and Wisconsin very pro Dominion? Like it, it may be one thing if there's like all of New England, but of course the southern states aren't. Why? Oh, they're still in Texas. That's so sad. Breaking my heart. Ah, that's right. We own Alaska. And how how's everyone here in Italy? Coffee's not bad. Doesn't look like they even need focus tree though. Ah, oh, hello, M Mussolini's in Venice. Look at that. It is thirty-seven, so let's come back here and get some more up up because we definitely, definitely, definitely need more guns. But we're doing quite well in guns actually. Not bad. Yeah, not enough world tension. So what is the French doing then in response? S supporting the armed forces? What did Austria do? Why did you kill off your own empire? British model holding onto the past. Many crowns, one emperor. Kill the eagle. Oh, you can become the HRE. That's kind of cool. Nice. Are the planes done training as well? No, of course not. So you are a fighter and you're a fighter. There you go. Repress the unions. We love suppression and oppression here. There you go. Um, yeah, you need to train, son. You are a naval bomber. You both are naval bombers, so you guys come over here. That's fine. I don't want to deal with these guys, so you just do this over here. Thank you. Come again. Cool. So after this one... Uh, oh, there goes Benito. Sorry about Russia. Tsar of all Russia is a title passed down to the leaders of the Romanov dynasty. Now, this title belongs to a great Tsar, Grigory. He now serves as a leader and unifying force for all the Russian people. Yes, please. Get some caps, too. Very, very good. Can't prospect still, which is fine, whatever. And it's slowly going down every day, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, what do we have here? Fine. Uh, I didn't even look at these ships. I'm not really concerned about the Russian Navy. Wait, what happened to the other ship? Oopsie. No, no, no. Come on. God dang it. There we go. So this ship is okay. It's not great. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's not. We're, gonna, we're not going to be making this. We radar, no, that makes sense why we don't, but still. Um, do that. Oh my gosh, it's still level one. Do that for now. I don't want to make you yet, though. You're just not very good. Do we not have any. D oh, we're all repairing the dock, the ships. That makes sense. <clears throat> that makes a lot of sense. And then, Ben the RJK. The Russian Jacobinist club has said as a thorn in her side for too long. They need to be removed permanently from the equation. Nice. Oh, so now, none of this stuff lights up. It's kind of sad. Line doctrine speed. So a lot of this is straight from like the the Soviet tree from vanilla, as you as, as you might be able to tell. Like all these divisions are pretty much. So, fight against socialism. Good idea. Oh, Brazil. Hello. Oh, you're very green. You oh, you're a puppet. All right. The U.S. looking like it do be doing very well. I should have played as them, but whatever. Maybe next time. Conference of London. Oh, are they giving up? No. So the traditionalist. Spend the and Nama. Nama. Nam 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 Nam. Uh, land doctrine. Oh, we're messing that. No, I'm going grand battle plan. I prefer grand battle plan. All right, so we got five army XP. These guys are it's 18 combo with. Uh, go infantry. More guns. Not bad. 
We also have a lot of NKVD divisions here too, which means not very much, but you know, whatever. Simeonov, Simeon, I mean. Uh, what did you have? I need a defender, that's fine. Zukov, winner expert, of course. Um, nothing too much right there. Yes, Tsar of all Russia's. American People's, Mexican People's Republic, huh? Zapata! Huh, he's still alive. Let me get some extraction. And now, take out the Jacobins! And secure control. There's not only ideological threats to the state, but ethnic ones. Separatism runs rampant, and these people need to be countered before they gain enough organization. Pretty much. Still building plenty of civvies, though. Plenty, 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 plenty of civvies. So we got that stuff, we got that stuff. I guess keep doing some of this stuff, too, I guess. Uh, heavy batteries, forgot about those things. Um, that looks fine for now. Secondary cruiser stuff, holes. I'll get some of this, too. That'd be nice. Anything else here? Yeah, Series 5. Shukushenka. Where is it? Series 5. Shukuka. Shukuka. Oh, so look, they'd be looking pretty nice. The Pope, now we have three Italy's. Hmm. Montenegro exists too. Canilio? Alexander! Who, wait, Bulgaria? Oh, Xinjiang and Mongolia, that makes sense. Ah, Kaiser Karl. Members of the Coalition Wars, what are you guys doing? Well, the North German Conference? Oh, I haven't look, looked at their tree yet, either. Self-governing Slavic states. What? Dissolve the Austrian Empire. All Germans united sounds really good. Attack the Rhine. Betray our Austrian allies. Towards German unification. Oh, you have to choose either one of these three. The Gross Deutschland solution. Seize the Rhine. Heil der im der im Seigerkranz. Is it Seigerkranz or Seigerkranz? Huh. Pan nationalism. Oh, American independence? Wow. Now this is the America I could get behind. Recover from the stock market crash. Promise of freedom. Legacy is market crash. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. Just another day. Let's go for another one, I guess. Uh, Death charge throwers. Can we throw those on our guns already? I'm not really sure. Uh, extraction 2? So we'll see what happens. Fight against Jacobins. And then modernizing the state. Or... Actually, is there anything else we need on here? Sets for the Muslims? For this strict extent? No. 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 I think we'll go and do this one. Yeah, the industry we have is outdated and efficient. It needs to be brought back into the modern era via our scientists and researchers. And learn to survive on their own. Which would be probably a pretty good thing to All do. Alright, everyone. So now, we have already gone ahead and finished off finance advancements in industry. But we're doing research institutes. The research institutes in our country are lacking, but not for much longer. With a little support from the central government, we can push these institutes back into the centers of discovery that they were built as. And they'll probably be mobilizing the economy so we can get rid of isolation, which is god-awful, and go with civilian economy. The economy is not ready for a large-scale war. It must be prepared to fight against the many threats and enemies we have helped, make, helped to make. From the east to the west, Russia must be protected. Absolutely true. Happy 1938, everyone. I guess the Pope just died to, uh, Sardinia Piedmont. Or the Kingdom of Sardinia Piedmont. 3S industrial equipment. Also, uh, the Irish rebelled. So, well, they rebelled no longer. So they died. Oh, hello. Oh, good prospect for resources now. That's kind of nice. I mean, really, all we need is rubber, right? Hmm. What? F done fighting against Jacobism. Jacobinism. What is Prussia up to? They're too quiet right now. Zolverine expansion. Okay. So that's historical, huh? Alright, so be it, so be it. Get some medium batteries before we make some cruisers. And actually, you guys, how bad do you look? Get rid of you guys, get rid of you guys. No radar yet. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we get that. Good. Do we have you yet? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's not a great ship. Oh, not wrong one. But, I mean, it'll, it'll work. It'll definitely work for what we need. There you go. Just in case for the future. Alright, so we got enough political power now. We almost won a day. Should probably go with that one earlier, but whatever. <clears throat> and that is A-OK. -okay. Ooh, he gets to train. Train boyos. Pass the sonar is not bad. Eight. Um, go logistics. I always go logistics. It's just, they're just really good to use. Who leads Poland? Edward, huh? There you go. Poland, huh? Okay. Alright, interesting. Not much there. Kingdom of Hungary. 
Not my pal. Oh, we have another user slot. Yay! Um, how, how did, ah, just do, do that one. Go ahead and do that one, that's fine. We're going to have equipment. We just need more army XP so we can actually do stuff here. Alright, so that's the case. I'm going to eat those words right now. Light tanks. Oh, uh, that's good enough. I just want the main core body of each division to be okay-ish. We need to work on that. These are not bad. You know what, screw it. We're going to throw on engineers. That's not bad either. Yeah, you guys got engineers. I mean, there's only 20% world attention, so there's not really much we can do yet. Uh, how's China looking? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, also we have Manchuria, which is really nice. Xing China. Led by Puyi. No unique focus tree in Japan. No unique focus tree, so. As you can tell, it's relatively bare bones right now, so. Mobilizing the economy is very nice. Maybe we can actually build stuff now. And expand the Ministry of Communications. The Department of Railways. Later merging of the Ministry of Communications is in charge of rail networks within Russia. They're in dire need of financial support as the railways want, they once maintained have fallen apart. <clears throat> nice. Gonna do that one. We'll do that slowly as time goes on now. But modernizing the state wouldn't be too bad. Continue diversification. I kind of do want to integrate as many areas as possible. That'd be very nice. That'd be very nice to get done, actually. Um, yeah, rubber. Why not? We'll get that eventually. And again, hire a foreign attaché would not be bad. Baltic fleet. We kind of wait on that stuff. Superior firepower. Then you like us when you like them. Prussian support. Modern ideas. British military tactics. Um, I kind of want to go this way, but the British have perhaps the longest lasting military tradition, and one we should try to replicate. Prussia. Wait, this is British though. Opinion of Prussia, at least 26. Prussia, opinion of Russian Empire, at least 26. Uh, that don't make any sense. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Whatever. Well, it doesn't seem like we can really go down that way. For working conditions, again, probably be good to do. Get some more radar. Radar is really nice to do. And get. Mm. Ooh. More fuel? Yes, please. Could get some aluminum, but nah. Just need rubber. Which we could build, but I still want to keep building ourselves up for now. Alright, so let's go with. What? Your armor uniform? Yeah, the military is in dire and disrepair. Disarray and disrepair. With most of the equipment being pre 1900s air rifles. Reform is needed and it must be brought up to modern levels or the state risks falling into enemy hands. Nice. And we'll modernize the state next. Russia has always been viewed as a backwater, less civilized than the rest of the continent. It's time to shake that legacy and bring Russia into the modern world. Well, we're, we're trying. It's not going great, but hey, we're trying. I just want. Oh, wow. Two Sicilies on Ferdinand III is going to die. Victor Emmanuel III, too. <clears throat> Her processing is not bad. Get some fuel, because he can. Five research slots pretty nice. Maybe maybe a bit too much, maybe in my opinion, maybe. So, but still. More stability? Yes, please. We love having a stable nation, which hurt us pretty badly here, actually. Yeah, well, it's pretty bad. Here comes the Bryansk first. The Nawab of Sin seeks to join the Pan Slavic Entente. As the current upheavals in the international politics continue to reverberate through the world, the Sin have the demons to be the greatest chance of surviving these times. Therefore, our request to be admitted to our alliance so we may weather the coming storm together. Sure. Oh, we might fight the Commonwealth eventually, especially if I want to come for India. The Durrani Empire. Sounds like something you could form an EU for, which is actually very true. <clears throat> Everyone's an anti-Jacobin. Well, some of these some of these people are. And we'll also grab maintenance, maybe? Timur Army XP is pretty nice. Um, you guys, as much as I want to edit you guys, I mean, we have a lot of infantry here, so, we don't have enough support for that, yeah, we just don't have enough for you guys, like tanks, definitely not enough for you guys either. New mobile warfare, how much, how much motorized do we have? We have plenty motorized. In between count with even more soft attack is always good. There you go. And modernize the state. Like whatever we can get right now. So after that, um, hiring a foreign attaché. The rest of the world seems to be better. Seems to better understand combat. And we already should use our expertise to bring Russia into the modern era. Probably. Fair defense is nice. More organization defense is just good, good, good. Promote a new field marshal. So they went down with which one? Zolvaran expansion, I think. Or is it Zolvaran developments? I think it's this one. 
Is there a faction? Yeah, there's another faction. So, when do we kill each other? I want to kill each other. I want someone to die. It's not us. So, oh, Los Anzules. So, what can America do after they win the war? A federal coalition, which looks like, I don't know, a Star Wars emblem? Retired officer. Jacobins win. Populous wing wins. Here we long. Oh. Wait. William Doodley Pel Pelly. What? He's in this one? Jacobin is Crusader. Oh. Share the wealth. That you get for the shit for the board. Prepare the Silver Crusade. Ooh. I like that one. Every man a king. Who's under the Commonwealth? Is that a Fallout thing? Flag? Huh. Looking east. Best of the Commonwealths. <clears throat> Conservatives win for a Democratic or Democratic Republican people. Alf Theodore Roosevelt III retires. Oh, they go to Portugal. Nice. Um, Alf Landon, huh? Freedom of the market, the freedom of the people. Yeah. Hmm. companies, maybe? Try it. Why not? Crush the movement, but hiring a foreign attache. And then, better anti air already. Going to just get. Oh, yeah. Get that stuff too. Nice. Uh, let's see. So, after that one. Yeah, I don't think. This is, this is kind of glitch. We can't really do these. So, um, we can wait. We could satisfy the Muslims. We could establish a Kazakh state, but we're going to crush the movement because we can. Is Islamic separatists pose an existential threat to our country's existence? If we allow them to gain their autonomy, what's to stop the Poles, Kazakhs, or Ukrainians from asking for the same? Exactly, absolutely nothing. And Italy should be forming now. Well, yeah, they should. Find allies. Um. Azalti Italia. So Tibet wants to join. Sure, why not? Why does everyone want to join? J Japan? What? Okay. Oh, the British come with our there too. But hey, I guess. That's not bad, man. It's not bad. Yeah, that, you can definitely tell their focus is not done because they join us. Because no more Russo Japanese war. Then again, that might not have happened in this timeline. So, um, I'm, I'm glad to have these guys. How big is it? How big is their? Uh, actually, what are you doing? What is that? Research investments. Nice. You actually get another research. Uh, that's actually really strong. Really, really strong. Uh, how big is their navy? It's not bad. Better than ours. So, mm. early mobilization. Yes. Yes, yes. And crush the Muslims. Because we can. Cool. And focus more on guns. Thank you. And then continue Russification. The Russian people are a bunch of different cultures. At least for now. We must unify all the different people's groups around our one united Russia. Pretty much. 14 army X. Oh, hello. Well, it's not really working out for us, Art, is it? There you go. There you go. Nice. That army's fully done. Um, I don't know where to send you guys, so... Go around Finland, I guess. One more tanks. And you guys will get some what's. More tanks. There you go. Tanks, we get more tanks. Makes sense to me. Happy 1939, though, everybody. Crush the movement. Nice. And Russification is next. Uh, five research slots, very good. We need some millies, though. Making some millies at all times now. Nice. There you go. Good stuff. And then we'll go to partial mobilization. Oh, some people start killing each other, because we, we want people to kill each other. We like it when people kill each other. Oh, uh, yeah. Why not? Proto-Italy? Why not? They don't even have these ports on here. God dang it, man. This is really not developed yet, is it? How much manpower do they have? Maybe a decent amount. Not a, not a bunch, but a decent amount. We can go back and focus more on industry, too, but still. Gun-wise, 67,000 guns is pretty nice. Get more light tanks. I'll lower by five for now, because we're going to really ramp up. How much, uh, how thicker divisions are going to be, we'll put it like that. 
Because eventually we'll get plenty of army XP. Plenty, 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 plenty. And we're going to lose stability. We get more political power, but that's why I want to get more stability with improved super goods. Or working conditions, whatever it was. Yes. Then, Panslavic identity? Oh! The Franco-Prussian War. The great question of the day will not be settled by means of speeches and majority decisions, but by iron and blood. It's all in the day. Pan-Slavic identity. Russia and its allies have much in common. The largest thing they share is their Slavic identity, including the Japanese, an identity we should embrace. The Slavs stand together as one alliance against foreign tyranny. And probably more. Nice. One, two, three, yes. So, we don't have enough real attention to... Oh, you're actually social democratic people, huh? I wouldn't mind seeing some attache. Wow, they, what, what happened here? Why are they pushing through so fast? What happened to the Dutch? Holy crap! Why are the French losing so fast? Oh! Oh! Encirclements! Oh, come on, make an encirclement. Make an encirclement. Oh, they made an encirclement in Bitburg and Köln. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is something I was not expecting. This mod moves so fast. It just moves so incredibly fast. We love it. All right, so we're still doing the same thing, and Prussia just has taken Paris. Um, Yeah. What is going on here? Why are these guys so bad? You have more manpower. You literally have half the industry of Prussia now. You have about the same amount of divisions, roughly, probably. Uh, I won't say when. They probably formed the German Empire. Yeah. They slowed down just a little bit, though, but... Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, pound Slavic identity is probably the way to go. Oh, yes, please. Oh, 1939. Oh, yes. Good. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> I gotta play as Prussia. I gotta play as America. Oh! I see. Oh, wait, did they take everything as a puppet? Hold on. Ah, the North German Confederation. We have Tibet too here as well. Um, that is awkward. France? Oh, Brittany's here too. They, they're not even a puppet though. Huh. Alsace Lorraine, of course, is now... That is so weird to see France as a puppet. Alright, French Air Corps. That's nice for them. The glory of the French. Well, I'm not sure they're so glorious anymore. You basically restarted their focus tree. Did you just restart the focus tree? Did they? Look kind of funny they did. Huh. So, oh, now we can integrate a lot of places. Oh, that's good. Manchur oh, we can integrate Manchuria. Let's do Ukrainian steps, too. That'd be nice. Uh, and then dissolving the Duma. The Duma stands as a check against our power. A weakness we cannot allow to continue to threaten the Tsar's complete control over the state. Nice. You know, we're losing daily support, but whatever. We still have ethnic divisions, or, di you know, divides. I'll get armed forces, which we'll get rid of eventually, hopefully. For an attaché. Not bad. This, this is a very strong German Empire. Should be able to do well against, though. But Austria, what are you up to? Developing an Adriatic fleet. Nationalist movements. Well, that makes sense. Um, that's not good for you guys, though. Bulgaria, infrastructure, Ottoman Empire, just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. We're building any more millies? We are still. It's very good, but at the same time... It's time to introduce a little bit more rubber here. Uh, Karelia, Belosian lands, thank you very much. And we do have the fin Finnish army. We'll call it the Finnish army. Alright, so PPSH is very nice. Artillery is good. It is still 39. Grab some more rubber because we are going to definitely, absolutely need it. Um, Let's take a look here. You got these. Well, I didn't want to make these guys 40s, but we can wait first. We need to throw more stuff on here first. Support equipment is looking a little better. We got some prepared defenses, which is nice. Uh, good, good logistics. Just cause. Do that. There you go. Nice. What are there so many guns? God dang. 83,000 guns. That's that's a bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, I did that too. Okay, go for two. Why not? Go for two. We might as well. Dissolving the Duma. Pretty much. Uh, they accept invitation? Okay. I kind of figured they would probably would. Our ambitions, finally. With the situation at home secure, the government can finally look into expansion outside of the Russian heartland. Okay. Hey, where are you guys at? I want to use my tanks, man. My little tinker tanker toy tanks. Manage subjects. It's not bad. Annex them probably eventually. Uh, and we get both these places. Ooh, we're about to get a lot of these lands integrated. 112 million people were not core, but now it's only 16 million. Not bad. Wow. Recruitable every month is a million. But we lose 760,000 from civilian. Not sure if I understand 
that one quite as well, but that's okay, I guess. So, can Germany proclaim the German Empire or what? Because they won. Gross Deutsch solution? Uh, how much manpower do they have? A good amount. A good amount. You guys have a good amount. Austria has some. You guys have less than 100,000. Oh, you have the, oh, they're going to Imperial Federation route. Look at that. So, they'll probably end up going to war again with the United States of America. Uh, and they went with Theodore... Is that Theodore Roosevelt III? Really? Hey, they got a square deal, though. Machine tools. Uh, it's almost 1940. So we get some research speed. Oh, I forgot that research speed. God dang it. So they went with Theodore III. National Progressives. The Bull, Bull Moose Coalition. Yeah, they went down this way, huh? Union representation after three C's. National University. Okay, interesting. Our expansion followed up with connecting the alliance. Well, that's a first good start of war, maybe. Uh, Romania stands in the way of our alliance, blocking our connection by land to Bulgaria and Serbia. They have got to be dealt with. Uh, we could keep expanding this stuff. I mean, might as well. Uses some civvies up, but that's okay. Keep making those millies. Because by God, do we need them. And light tanks, too. Lots and lots of light tanks. Nice. Happy 1940, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Great, great, great year. Let's get some sort of conflict in this episode. Uh, free the Western Slavs. Could pop it down, hold on. Um, get that one, too. Anything here yet that we really care about? No. We need dockyards. Huh. <laughs> so connect to the alliance. Topple the shot. Oh, we got a war with Persia. Or the Dur Durrani Empire as well. Well, we can't really destroy Japanese influences. They already allied us. So I guess we'll do East Asian supremacy. Wait, can we not go to war with Germany? Wait, why is there no way to... What? 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 Um, I'm also probably going to have to just force this one. So the British have perhaps the longest lasting military tradition and we should try to replicate it. Like I see if all the British have proven themselves in warfare with the conquest of a quarter of the globe, building one of the largest empires in history, their tactics should be emulated. So we go to war with Romania. Uh, we'll do that. Um, fighting over the river is probably a really bad idea, but let's we'll still do it anyways. Yeah, get some roads. We need some roads here, definitely. Rubber's looking slightly better. Actually, quite a bit better. Since we did that. Uh, you guys, how you doing? Subbies suck. Level 1's just not that great. Oh, but we do have access through here. It's actually really nice. Uh, are you suffering from attrition now? Are you guys not going to be able to get over that? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I built the roads. Okay, whatever. We don't need to do it anyways. Alright. Yeah, we'll probably do these two off screen. Expanding the Baltic fleet. The Navy helps protect us from the enemies that lay beyond our shores. Uh, Maratha Empire? Sure. Uh, as well as the vital shipping lands to keep the economy afloat. No area is more important for naval protection than that of the Baltic Sea, which connects capital in the Russian heartland out to the Atlantic Ocean and the rest of the globe. The Grand Fleet here needs expansion and development. Oh, we're doing that one anyways. Yeah. Uh, I'll save this one probably for next time, too. Probably that one, too. And connecting the nation. Uh, well, I kind of want to wait for that one, though. Hmm. Probably marching southward. The Durrani Empire holds much land we desire. So... Let's see what happens. You're a fighter. You're a fighter. And you're a fighter. I'm sure everyone has at least 100 planes here. Even if you're not fighting. You still need 100 planes. Now you're attack bombers. It's very nice. Get to where we need to go. Yay, we got another ally. We got another ally, we have another ally. Um, are they allied by anybody? No? Well, let's see what happens. And do we lose? Do we win? Oh, we're fighting over a river. Don't get me wrong, that's still pretty bad. Oh, and Japan's been called in too. Do we have a good amount of... We do have air superiority, which is really nice. Uh, sure guys. If you want to come in, that's fine with me. I don't really care. 
<clears throat> That's a lot of divisions. Why are you all using one solid block? What the heck? Going this way. You surround and circle and destroy. We lost 8,000, we killed 14,000. Not bad. Alright, yay, then we cut off. Beautiful. Now we have all the armies we really need. Nice. Yeah, I could definitely see this being a two, uh, two episode campaign. Then we'll explore some more in the future, too. Yeah, just avoid Bucharest. Yeah, wow. Holy crap, these guys are dying fast. Uh, sure. We'll take some tanks. Why not? We love tanks here. Oh, you guys are here, too? Oh, you must go into and have a good old time. 94,000 died? Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. Pretty good. And there goes Romania. Sorry, Bulgaria. You already have the Brugia, so. Unless you have claims on that. Oh, yeah, you You know what? We'll give that to you. Nice. It's very good. They get stuff. We get stuff. It's a, it's a fair trade. It's absolutely fair trade. 1940, of course. Uh, better radar. Maybe nuclear stuff. But I think that's going to be it for the first episode here. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll go to war probably with the Prussians, the Austrians, and a bunch of people in the Middle East and Asia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.